One of the enduring phrases from the Mueller report will be an admission from the White House Press Secretary Sarah Sanders that a claim she made disparaging the newly fired FBI chief James Comey was not founded on anything. Listen to what Sarah Sanders said at a briefing back in May of 2017. What's your response to these rank-and-file FBI agents who, who disagree with your contention that they lost faith in, in Director Cohen? Look, we've heard from uh, countless members of the FBI that say very different things. Special counsel writes that uh, Sarah Sanders admitted to his uh, investigators uh, that she had no basis for making that remark, which he tried to frame as a slip of the tongue made in the heat of the moment. This morning, that is still Sarah Sanders' position. Here is Sanders on Good Morning America. Special counsel writes that those comments were not founded on anything. That's what you talked to the special counsel about when you were facing criminal penalties if you didn't tell the truth, but now you're trying to walk away from it. Why can't you acknowledge that what you said no, then was not, not true? I said that the word I used countless, and I also said if you look at what's in quotations for me, it's that. And it's that it was in the heat of the moment, meaning that it wasn't a scripted talking point. We're joined now by CNN White House correspondent Kaylin Collins uh, and here in studio Julie Pace, Washington bureau chief uh, for the Associated Press. Uh, uh, Julie, let me start with you. Some of your colleagues think Sarah Sanders has lost the confidence of the White House press corps uh, with this definitive assertion by special counsel Robert Mueller that she lied to the American people, a lie for which she is expressing zero contrition and no apology whatsoever. Do you agree? Has she lost the confidence of the White House press corps? I think that the White House press office as a whole has lost the confidence of the White House press corps far before uh, yesterday. I think we've been dealing in a, with a situation where you have people who come out and speak on behalf of the president, on behalf of this administration, who say things that are factually inaccurate. We've been dealing with that literally since the first day of the administration. And I think it's really important to point out that the problem here isn't that Sarah Sanders or other people who speak for this administration are lying to journalists. It's that they're lying to the American right, people. Right, absolutely. That's, that's the real problem here. And I would hope that no matter what your political persuasion is, the fact that an administration is lying to the public would really bother you. You know, Caitlin, that clip we just played from 2017, uh, that's not the only time that Sarah Sanders made that bogus claim, is it? No, well, she said it several times, and even when reporters gave her the chance to follow up on it because they didn't think what she said was accurate, even one reporter saying really to her during a press briefing when she said that a large number of FBI agents had reached out to her personally, she said, even though she didn't know that many people at the FBI, that was her indication that that many people had lost confidence in James Comey. So, well, she said it multiple times under different iterances, said it a, a lot throughout several press briefings, though. So saying it's a slip of the tongue um, doesn't really compute since she made that argument so many times. And Wolf, it's also not the only instance in the Mueller report of her making a statement that was not true. She also said that the president certainly did not dictate that original misleading statement about the meeting that Donald Trump Jr. had at Trump Tower, when later it was revealed that his lawyers actually told the special counsel that yes, the president had dictated that statement. When Sarah was asked to clear that up today, she essentially made the argument that she was given bad information. And Wolf, I do think that's important because a lot of what you're seeing in this report starts at the top. And it, this report does have a pretty damning portrayal of a president who not only pressured his staff to lie, but also to minimize true events, deny stories that had been reported in the media, and at times just simply make things up. And, and Caitlin, let me ask you, I mean, does the White House not see that all these lies actually to the American people, forget lies told to journalists, lies to the American people, that, it, that it's self-defeating. They, they tell lies about things important and inconsequential, big and small, and ultimately all it does is hurt them, their credibility, especially when they then want to talk about issues that are of, of real significance, uh, uh, that have to do with policy and things that, that affect the American people's lives. Um, do they, did they not understand that? Well, a lot of people in the West Wing have a problem with the communications team, and they have had one ever since essentially the beginning, when it was back when Sean Spicer was the press secretary. So they realize that it's a problem because it, often it's the communications team here at the White House that becomes the story because of what they say. And I think it's important to keep in mind this isn't just the White House press shop and the reporters that cover the White House here uh, going back and forth over whether or not Sarah Sanders is telling the truth. She's a taxpayer-funded press secretary, and what she says goes on the record, and she's supposed to say truth 
truthful things so the American people know what's going on inside the White House. Yes, she may put a positive spin on it for the White House to their perspective, but it's still supposed to be based in some sense of reality. And we're seeing that with these remarks, especially the ones about James Comey, it's just not true. And also another pretty damning instance in the Mueller report about the White House press shop is when they wanted Rod Rosenstein to hold a press conference saying it was his idea to fire James Comey. They were essentially trying to send the number two at the Justice Department to go on television and say something that was not true so it would back up the president and make him look better. If that gives you any kind of instance of how the White House press shop is functioning here, and instead of trying to put uh, good news out about what the president is doing, they're instead trying to make president's decisions look less bad. You know, Julie, uh, there's only been, I think, two White House press briefings in the past 100 days or in this current, in this current year. And I guess the, the silver lining is if you can't believe what the press secretary is saying, maybe it's, it's better that they don't do those press briefings. Yeah, I, I'm really torn on this because on the one hand, you go into these press briefings in the Trump administration and you get information that frankly isn't very useful to you. Uh, in some cases, it's inaccurate. In some cases, uh, it's just not really relevant. On the other hand, I do think it's really crucial, again, to the, to the point about informing the public, not because we want to sit in the briefing room, not because we think that we want to have our FaceTime on camera, because that is how a lot of Americans get information about what their government is doing. And the fact that that is gone, the fact that that is just no longer uh, an expectation, not only at the White House, but also at the Pentagon, at the State Department. There are major policies that are being undertaken by this administration, and we simply don't have the opportunity to get the public uh, information on a daily basis. That's a real problem. It certainly and is. Uh, yeah, go ahead, Caitlin. Well, I want to note one thing that we could start to see over the next few days. You saw it with that interview that Sarah Sanders did this morning where she was trying to essentially back off the claims that she made to the special counsel's investigators. They made it pretty clear in the Mueller report that what she said was not founded on anything, that that is what she told them. And today she was trying to frame it as simply a slip of the tongue, something she made in the heat of the moment, despite that being a report, a comment that she's made multiple times. And so what you're going to see is potentially people trying to back off the comments that they made under the penalty potentially of lying to investigators when they told the truth, then in the public when they're speaking to reporters and anchors on news shows, they may be changing their tunes a little bit.